and howdy guys so in the last video we started to discuss um, a little bit about the specs and uh, we started to look through the UX in order to describe exactly what we're going to be coding within the proxy app everything is done on the admin app now we got to go into the proxy app so like we said proxy app very similar to the admin app because we got the proxy controllers and the proxy routes files the routes this is the um, uh, and this is all the proxy routes that are related to the blog right let's just open this up over here proxy routes related to the blog and we have proxy controllers also related to the blog and on the left side we have the actual features so first of all in order to have a bunch of small wins i put the easier features on the top over here i clean it up a bit on the post record in the okay so if moderation is required on the post level um then uh, uh, when somebody submits a new post set hidden to true by default so let's actually go into the create function exports.create over here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, have a look over here okay blog.html blog.save okay uh, let's see um, okay we need to actually grab the shop record somewhere over here okay let's see blog.save shop.find1 ah okay and shop.doc, what does this do? Okay, post save successfully, blog.save, console.log, post save successfully. Add shop to blog record. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing there, Shopify domain. Let's store admin name equals this. Okay, an app slug, if shop and, and shop dot underscore doc. Okay, and over here, uh, I think this is the part, uh, okay, over here we're adding the shop to the shop record and we're sending an email, okay. Uh, so within the, within the create function of the blog, there's a couple of things that are happening here, right? The first thing that's happened, and um, this is also a good review of what's happening in the proxy app, exactly. Exports.create is, is the function that runs when a blog is created, okay, whatever. It does all this stuff with the, with the blog record cleans it up for saving it in the database on top over here and then it says blog.save and then after it's saved it uh, checks for an error if there's no error it says add shop to a blog record and uh, whatever it says uh, let's see console.log let's store admin let app slug shop and bling blog.find by id with the shop okay it takes the shop after that and it says tags dot for each blog that find by ID and update Damn, this is a pretty big function the main thing that's happening over here is that it's also um, it, with mongoose it's kind of a pain to like uh, to save to do inner joins and stuff but um, um, what it's doing is it's saving it's pretty much saving references for uh, for specific uh, tags within a blog object so blog that find by ID and update it, upped, it, it cycles through all the different tags, it looks like, and it just uh, keeps on uh, tags for each, blog.find by ID and update. It saves all the references to the tags and stuff over there. All right, so, but we don't really need to touch that piece, and it also sends an email. This stuff probably needs to start getting broken up, right? Just the fact that it's, that it's, uh, it's incredibly wordy over here, and that's also... A good, uh, a good example of why things should really be modularized in, in the code, but this was all MVP code. You got to understand that it was, I just needed to get the app out there in order to validate that there was, that there was a, uh, any, any demand or any need for this product in the market before I went ahead and modularized everything and cleaned up everything. But so now that I'm coming back to it, it's kind of like, uh, shnikes, this is, uh, this is very wordy. It makes it hard to, to understand. Uh, what's being done exactly because uh, right because it's just so wordy within one function all right but um, but I, either way I think the main thing that we need to be thinking about right now is this is this feature over here on the left and what does the feature say it says when the shopper submits a post check the given shops post moderation field uh, okay, we need to check the given shop's post moderation field. So, and the, this looks like a good opportunity to do it somewhere over here. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and do that. Shop dot find one. What are we gonna say? Ah, oh, and there's there's that shop over there. Okay. Oh, schnikes. Okay, the, Mongo also has this really weird thing with shop dot underscore doc. Okay, and uh, so we actually need to do this test too. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and, and check that. Shop in function to send email alert and add shop reference. Oh, okay, this is kind of descriptive. We have a comment in here. Send email alert. Um, okay. Well, we, we're doing something else. Um, ah, okay, whatever, good enough. Uh, let's see. What do we actually want to do? Um, okay, well, we have the shop here. Ideally, the shop should be somewhere else, but whatever. Shop and shop da 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 da. Okay, wait. I'm gonna do an if block over here. Okay. Mm. You know what? We should really save this this under shop dot underscore doc somewhere else. But okay. Whatever. Uh. Nice. That's why it's so important to keep code modular. It makes it so hard to reason about it otherwise. Shop and shop dot underscore doc and shop dot underscore doc. See, while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here, I'm already confused about what needs to be done next. Let's see. Moderation is required on the post level, on the post record in the database set hidden to true. One sec, guys. Hey, guys. So after reviewing reviewing uh, just the, the app a little bit and the features, I noticed that there's also something happening. The moment that a post is submitted, um, th it sends a message to the store admin sen saying your post is pending, pending your review here. And what that, and, uh, what that means is um, in order to get this auto approve feature to work, we need to s think about this over here. If moderation is not required on the post level, we need to change the content of that email that we send the, sto that we send the store admin. It should say send message to the store admin, which is post is live here, all right? Uh, so these are kind of the features that need to be, that need to be worked out. Um, but you know what? It's already starting to get incredibly, incredibly messy. I think in the next video we're going to start to uh, just modularize this. That way it'll be much easier for us to view the code. All right, guys? So thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, I'll see you. Uh, feel free to reach out, and I'll see you in the next one.